Well, guys, I hope you're ready for part two of this awesome adventure we had through the Ozarks. But believe me, in this episode, there definitely wasn't any shortage of uncomfortable situations and a little bit of carnage. So be sure to stick around for the whole video. Picking up from the last episode, right after we saw that amazing view, we continued to hit some more trails. And then we actually ran into a couple guys from the Express Rally team. What's up, guys? What's up, Aaron? See you next, See you next weekend. weekend. Yeah. And shortly after that, we came up on a really beautiful bridge that led to Car Wash Falls. If you've never heard of Car Wash Falls before, it's a really beautiful spot where some water runoff comes off of a cliff right onto your vehicle and gives it a nice clean wash. Of course, we had to stop and get photos of everybody going through. Right after Car Wash Falls, we continued on a small bit of trail right up to our campsite. And man, this campsite was probably one of the best I've ever been to. So this campsite was actually on the river and to get there we had to go through a deep little mud hole so we could park our vehicles on the banks. Well guys, we made it. Here's our spot for the night. So amazing where you're. Let me show you. Right on the river here, on the banks. It's totally awesome. Some mud. Uh, yeah man, it's beautiful. All right guys, we got everything set up. Uh, man, look at this, totally gorgeous. So back to Jeep around and now um, when I wake up, this will be my view. <sighs> it's gonna be awesome. My gas light's on right now. I uh, just got a couple gallons from Robert. Thank you, Robert, appreciate it, man. Um, gosh, I just can't get over this amazing spot, amazing view. All right, give you a quick tour of my setup here. Got my table set up right here and I just got you know, the basic spec here, uh, everything's charging, everything's been dead. So, charging up the tablet and the walkies. Um, take you up top. Just got my pillow in there. Um, I'm airing this thing out because um, the inside didn't get wet at all. Not a drop, but last night's storm, that rain fly is still pretty soaked. Here's Ryan set up. What you got, Nathan? Got some steak, squash, and mac and cheese. <clears throat> nice. What day of steak a row in a row is that? Uh, this is the second steak I've had this weekend. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Ryan, what you got? Uh, the other half of steak that Nathan cooked. Yep. Mac and cheese and squash or whatever that was. Squash. Looks amazing. Squash. Ben, what are you doing over there? Uh, breakfast and chicken breast. All right, a little hodgepodge. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. That is really weird. Chicken and eggs. Well, Nathan, thanks for cooking so much. You cooked for us a couple of times. So here's Ben set up. Sleeps inside right there. Got some bacon and eggs and chicken. Mr. Matt, what you got? <clears throat> got potatoes. I'm about to throw some shrimp in here. Ooh. So potatoes and shrimp. And then preparing the Dutch oven for a peach cobbler tonight. Ooh, wow. That is going to be insane. I'm excited be for that. my first official camp Dutch oven. Camp right. cobbler. I did it once at home, so. Sweet. What you got over here? Got some ribeye, baby. Oh my gosh. 10 ounce ribeye, salt and pepper. That looks good. That's all it needs. That's it, baby. You Yum. can't beat that natural beef flavor. That's right. <laughs> Robert, what you cooking up? You've already done it. Chicken fajitas. It's already done, huh? Yeah. Already <laughs> ate it. Yep. Clean up the scottle right now. All right. Beat us all to it. Yep. John, what you cooking, man? Some cheese steaks. New York strip chopped up in cubes. Yeah, already heck gone, yeah. Though. Yeah, already yeah. gone, huh? Yeah. You and Robert both. 
I still haven't set up the hammock to the tree to the tent. So. Oh, nice. There it is. So, yeah. Cool. All right, guys, I think it's time for me to start cooking. All right, first things first. Mm. New favorite beer, by the way. All right, so on the menu for tonight, we have, uh, I prepped this at home. So what it is is cut chicken breast, some carrots, onions, peppers, some garlic butter, uh, and then some potatoes as well. Oh, it's gonna be so amazing. All right, light my stove. All right, I'm gonna go eat, bye. As the sun began to set and we were finishing our meals, we told stories and rehashed the day's adventures. After that, I was so tired and so ready to go to bed. And man, I slept so good. One of the best parts when I woke up was this incredible view and awesome fog. Check this out. Morning guys. So made it through last night. Uh, clear skies, no rain at all. It's really, really, really beautiful. Pretty foggy this morning. Uh, I think I can smell bacon. I'm gonna have to inspect that pretty soon. I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna make some coffee real quick and warm up my soul because I'm pretty cold. All right, guys, got the truck all packed up. Matt gave me some more gas because I really need it. Uh, so we're gonna put that in the in the Jeep. So thank you, Matt. Then we're just gonna get out of here, start making our way back. After we packed up camp, we had to get back up that mud hole and Ben found a hard line he wanted to try. There's a slick root. Yep, just a buttery root right there. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> but with his super slick KO2s, he wasn't able to do anything. After Ben tried, Ryan wanted to give it a shot in his forerunner. And man, it scared the crap out of us. Oh! 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 <laughs> That's a hard negative. Keep that wheel straight. I don't like the angle. His bumper just hung a little bit low and he wasn't able to get his tires on the bank. Are you gonna give, give it one more? I'm gonna stuff that bumper, I think. And boom. Nope. Your bumper's hanging too low. You got that fat in the bottom lip. Although I didn't get it on film, John did get his JL up that really hard bypass and it was awesome to watch. And right after that, you guessed it, we hit the trail again. But this time we were trying to be a little bit more mindful of using four wheel drive because most of us had really limited gas. Ooh, got a little three-wheel action there. <laughs> Big drop-off. We had a decent little water crossing that had a little drop-off at the end, and it was really cool to watch the rigs go down. There it is.
After that, we came up to one of the coolest cabins I had ever seen. This was known as the Old Homestead. You guys gotta check this out. All right, we're parked right here um, at the Old Homestead. This is a really cool little area. Check out this sweet little house. This old cabin looked to easily be over 100 years old. You could see in every nook and cranny all the character this cabin had. Wow, that's awesome. Man. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. You've never been here before? I haven't. Man, guys, this is awesome. Super old fireplace. It even had an upstairs, and some of the mattress beds were made out of corn stalks. What's so cool about this is the owner just leaves the front door wide open. Anyone can kind of poke their head in here and check out the cabin, but what blows me away is there's no vandalism here. There's no spray paint or carving in the wood or anything like that. It's just really cool that people respect this place enough not to mess with it. Old storm cellar. Out back there was a really sketchy storm cellar that looked like it could collapse at any moment. Oh yeah, it's kind of bowing out right there. Wow. After we had our fill checking out the old homestead, we got back in our rigs and went down the trail. And this turned out to be a little bit interesting. And of course, Ben being Ben was the first one to get stuck. No, he's not moving. I have a situation. Well, Ben found some rats here. He's real sideways. Look at that. Not quite on the fender. Oh, you're you're on that front fender. He just slipped out right there. Can you back up? Turn passengers, Ben. Ben, passengers. Passenger. The other passenger. Passenger. Would you listen to me? Now go back. Keep going. Keep going. Matt did it. No spotter. Yep. Passenger. passenger. Keep going. Lay under him, Nathan. Yeah, all right. Driver. Tire sticks out. Driver. Next up, we had Nathan and his ZR2. And I'm going to be honest, uh, Matt and I were both right filming, down. and we were not right doing down. a good job of spotting him. And I would say it was both of our fault for not telling him to go more driver on this part. Keep going. That's over. Yep. He's in it. You're on your bumper. Okay. Don't break Sorry, Nathan, we got caught up in filming. Totally our bad. There he is. <laughs> Real close. Come on, let's go. Barely on the fender there. All right, Matthew's hooking up his winch. I'm gonna yank Nathan right out of here. Give him a little gas, baby. Yeah, you're, you're coming you're off. You're clear. You're good. Get that tire up. Yep. Sweet. Yep. Next up on this washed out section was Robert and his forerunner. And man, he did it like a champ.
Passenger. 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 There you go. Passenger. All right, now straight up. Little driver. Little driver. Right there. It's money right Little there. Little driver. Driver. More driver. Driver. Right there. Lastly, we had John in his JL, and of course, he freaking dominated it in that thing. Wait, is your sway bar disconnected? He's just full throttle, isn't he? Is your sway bar disconnected? Okay, right there, straight. I'm sending him down here. We're making this. Little driver. Oh. Little driver. Shadow, get out of the way. Go. Shadow, run under the truck. <laughs> well, that was sweet. I just did that um, rut section in my Jeep. No problem. It was awesome. I'm going to go down here a little bit and uh, see how the rest of the group's doing. If I have some pictures, I'll throw them up in the video real quick. A little bit further up the trail, there was another washout, and Matthew fell into it. So we had to pull out the winch. The fender's laying against there. Dragging the rear. Yeah, that diff's pretty. Diff's pretty close. I think we're just gonna winch right up here to this tree and get him out. Clear. Little passenger, right there. Passenger, driver. There you go. Tell you what, this trail is not letting up. I'm getting techy techy. Hey guys, we're at the Ozone Burger Barn. Check it out right there. Um, man. We're gonna get some awesome burgers here. Never been here before, uh, but Matt says it's amazing. And I believe pretty much everything Matt says. But yeah, we got some bikers here. I think we're going to uh, air up the tires and then we're just gonna take off from there. What's up? We got kid and dad here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Adopted, he's adopted. Dad Trail dad. <laughs> Trail dad. <laughs> hey dad, we're gonna air up here. Hello. All right, guys, we were just told that uh, there aren't very many burgers left. So I think what we're just going to do is air up instead, um, air up right here. And then, I don't know, we might eat here. We might go somewhere else. Got the onboard air all hooked up. Um, I've actually got quite a bit of questions about the compressor. Uh, you guys have been asking me if it's still been working with all the mud and water and heat and stuff. And yeah, it's working pretty, pretty fine. Been working ever since I put it in. All right, guys, we got our burgers. This thing looks amazing, huge. How was it, Nick? At the very end, it's delicious. It looks amazing. Maybe this former restaurant. They're all just passed out. Talk about all you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video right here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Man, this was really, this was probably the best trip I've ever had. So shout out to Matt. Uh, and the rest of the group. Thank you so much for letting me uh, in on that fun. That was really, really cool. Yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a like um, and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Man, the east side of the National Forest is killer. It's definitely better than the west for me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much and I hope you have a good day.